Hello guys, good day today. So we will solve the area of a triangle using the Excel application. So this is our first tutorial, so Excel solution. So first, kailan natin i-identify mo na yung mga given value like h sa b sa 80. So this is the mga parameters na dapat i uh, i consider natin. Then of course, one of the most important is sa units ng mga uh, parameters natin. So, kapag area natin automatically that is in square uh, exponent, so it's either SI or English units. So, as you can see, may parameters tayo na B, H, and 80. Then, kailangan natin aside from the given value, so kailangan natin i-input muna yung mga designation nila para hindi tayo malito. Uh, gamit ito especially sa mga baguhan pa lang. So, para hindi na tayo malitas pag solve. Then, of course, for those nag-review para sa board exam. So, yung H natin is represent of the height of the triangle. Yung B natin is uh, that is represent of the base of the triangle or that is the width. Then, of course, yung 80 natin is the total area of a right tri triangle. So, ano lang guys. So, kailan natin uh, isipin na this is for for uh, right triangle only. So, sa mga acute, then obtuse tri triangle, so hindi ito applicable. So, yung formula ng right triangle natin is, of course, that is 1 half times base times height. So, sa pag-input sa Excel application natin, so sa formula, mas, uh, uh, mas madali yung pag-input. Instead na 1 half, gagawin natin 0.5. Okay. Okay. So, mas maganda, i-highlight mo na nyo yung mga given, so para hindi tayo malito. And 0 0.5 times sa Excel natin, instead na times natin is asterisk. Yung asterisk na yan is represent sa multiplication. Okay? So, automatically, once na mag tayo ng value ng H, ng B, so, yung area natin, automatically na solve. So, yun lang guys. Sana nakatulong ako. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share to our channel. Thank you and God bless.